Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. I hope you see and hear me well. And it's uh, great to begin our today's, our this year's first webinar in English. So again, Happy New Year to all of you. And I hope this webinar is going to be awesome and you will like it. And then I can answer many questions that you might have. Of course, we will, as usual, discuss the different aspects about the technology. Uh, first, we take a glimpse at the most important news. So we will close last year's uh, most, well, in my opinion, at least um, one of the most, well, groundbreaking news. And then we will see seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay. Uh, I'm quite sure that we won't see all the seven reasons due to the time frame we have, but uh, we will continue with all those points that we were not able to cover today. We will continue with those points uh, in, uh, well, next webinar. Yes. So, all right. My name is Michael. I'm from Estonia and I've been, well, familiar and, uh, well, Skyway technology is known, known to me for, for about four, more than four years now. And I, for the last few years, one and a half or so, I've been an, uh, well, uh, a, presenta a presenter as well here, um, as I do today um, in front of you. So it has been great honor to, to share this information to you to, well, give insights about what the future will bring us in the era of transportation, since we know that this area is very, well, it's, it's, it's very tight and it's very hard to come up with something new here. And so we need to change the, well, the idea of the vehicles are the same, but we need to change the interiors, for example, or, or the engines, for example, from fuel uh, in, 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 in embossed uh, engines, fuel burning engines to electrical, for example. And um, yeah, so at the moment in the world, we are going toward electricity. So that's one key word, absolutely. So do neutralize this CO2, well, direct CO2 levels. And then the um, Skyway, our technology is or was uh, many steps ahead of that idea. So when <laughs> Antonio Niski planned technology or, or first started uh, constructing it in real life, because about 40 years, 40, 40 years ago, he already um, thought about uh, that we need to come up with a second level transportation system because the first level will just uh, not be enough for us. And today we will today we'll see already that in, in the well, surrounding environment and then the wind, well, we can feel more and more the need for something new, for something uh, uh, which is on different layer or with different layers. So so because if we just fill the first level of infrastructure, then it will get more jammed. There will be more traffic jams. The more roads there are, the more different vehicles there are, the more traffic jams and then the more, more tighter it is. And we already have underground uh, transportation system as well, as you might know. The subways, at least in uh, developed countries. And those subways, mm, well, those are awesome as well. So we have covered underground the infrastructure, the first line infrastructure, and now it's time for the second level infrastructure. Yes, but Skyway is absolutely special. There is nothing similar in the world. There might be by outlooks or by the idea that there are like cable cars that they are on the, on the second level, but that actually Skyway is absolutely unique. And I will tell you today 
why it is so. So yes, some news now. Mm, and then the, I shared those news uh, last time as well, but but I will give you brief insight what is going on at the moment in Sasha in United Arab Emirates, where is our innovation center. So basically there is one uh, track already completed uh, and uh, certified as well. And one model that track, which is certified at the moment is meant for tropical unicar. Well, not only because sea containers as well, the smaller sea containers are already tested there. And basically this track is the same or the similar like uh, you see behind me, the one line, not with, uh, not with the track structure where we can go both above and below the road structure with our models. I will tell you more about that, that side, that parallel side, which is also great aspect of Skyway because it gives us uh, double the efficiency that, well, for example, trains or trams have today, where they can go just only one pair of the rails. But when we are high, we can use both sides of the rails, upside and and well, and in the hanging mode, so to say, underneath the track structure. But yes, now it's time for two more tracks, which will be ready quite soon. One uh, track is in track number two, which you see in front of you at the moment on the presentation. So basically that will be a container transportation for sea containers. And it has to hold very heavy, um, well, a, lot of, a lot of mass, a lot of kilograms above, above it because policy well, containers are heavy. Yes, here is also a depot, which is some construction at the moment. <clears throat> but uh, mm, what I want to say about the depot, it's basically like a maintenance area where normally people, well, mm, passengers won't, won't go or won't be able to go. And that's if, if you talk about the uh, transportation systems like Unibus, Unicar, which are meant for, for passengers, for people to go from one point to another, then uh, that TPO, which you see in front of you at the moment on the slide, is meant for, for maintenance, for recharging, and when there is, for example, traffic jam. Most of the models or all of the models are on the tracks and uh, serving people and when the traffic jam uh, well is over not the traffic jam sorry but the rush hour is over then those models which are not needed anymore there will be calculations there will be a lot of uh, data collecting from from uh, well, it's basically automated integrated uh, smart intelligence system which is screening constantly the surroundings, screening how many people are at the stations, where they want to go, and so on. If, if uh, they see that it's not necessary to hold so many different models on the track structures, then those models, which are not needed, can go to the depot or will be called to the depot for charging, for maintenance, just for overlooking, cleaning, and, and, and so on. So that's, that's uh, quite great idea so that's why it's called autonomous transportation system as well that's the main reason there it does not need any driver there is no drivers on the cabins it it, it, it rides autonomous autonomously but of course there are people behind the screens um, in the remote well control rooms so so it won't be just <laughs> hanging there or drying out at once, but, but the, of course there will be there will be people looking at different systems behind the screens to, to check and see that if it, that everything goes perfectly and also for maintenance as well. So because well mechanics can well can be done, but uh, it's it's quite difficult to teach robots everything. But let's see how what the future brings. So this is how the container uh, depot will look like in the near future. And here you can, uh, well, 
you can see the track structure, which is uh, much different than which differs from from uh, which is behind me, which I just showed you there. And uh, here on this container typo testing track, sorry, container testing testing track, you can basically <clears throat> or we can uh, transport containers both above and in the hanging mode. So above the track structure, so simultaneously in two ways or in parallel, like in, in one way to to um, two containers, which is absolutely amazing. And if you think about the speeds, then uh, average speed is about or or well or the maximum width, sorry, uh, will be about 140, 150 kilometers per hour with uh, with uh, container depot. And uh, um, the loading time to load and unload the C containers will be less than one minute. And if you compare it, for example, with trains, we have mostly three transportation systems, trains, ships, and, uh, and uh, uh, trucks. So trucks have these, or the truck driver, drivers have these mandatory, at least in Europe, these mandatory stops. They have to take rest, resting stops, ten hours or so, in, in straight line. And those um, those stops will slow the average speed down. Then there is traffic jam because truck drivers drive like. Mostly, most of the transportation vehicles or most of the people do uh, on the first level. So among cars, bikes, pedestrians and so on. So therefore, the average speed is about 20 to 30 kilometers per hour with, uh, with trucks. But with um, ships, same thing, ships are just slow, very dangerous seas, everything can happen. And then there are trains. Trains as well do not go that fast. At the, uh, I mean, even when there's well, if there's a lot of way behind the uh, behind the drivers, so to say, the first first uh, train, then uh, it won't go very fast. So trains are also quite quite slow. So average speed about four to five times higher then is with Skyway, then if you compare it with other transportation systems. And it runs fully on electricity. It has its own motor wheels, not with cable cars, where, where the cars stay at the same place on the cable, but the cable moves. So like in ski resorts, there are these, uh, in one, one of the end, in, there is this uh, big wheel or big engine which spins, spins and spins in, in on the spot it spins and therefore it pulls the cable from one side and then well, basically cable comes, goes, comes, goes, circles like that. But the models or the cable cars themselves are staying at the same place all the time. They're like suited to the cable there. But with Skyway models, we have these motor wheels, for example, and then derailment system and then everything else. So we are driving on the, on the track or beneath the track structure. Yes, some more pictures here. Oh, yeah, you can see uh, underneath the truck structure, which is in front of the well, which is uh, on the big vision here with the C container, basically below the C container, above just a little bit above these men heads, two men there, one in black and one in white. You can see the 400 meter track structure, which is already certified 
and the tropical uni bus as unicar as well there on the track structure and then uh, that model is also certified so, so you might ask what certification means i will i will answer certification basically is a proof of uh, work which is given out by certain very specific companies which are allowed to do so by, by the law and it basically says that this track structure does what it is meant to do as well as the model does what it is meant to do so it's safe it's uh, and it's possible to start marketing it so i mean selling it that's that's why we need these certifications of course for an meter track cannot uh, we, we cannot test there 150 kilometers per hour because it's too short that's why we also need higher distances uh, like these 2.4 kilometer track structures two of them which are at the moment under construction track number two i already showed you and now we are here this is track number four it will look different it will be also as yes, 2.4 kilometers long and uh, it's just so awesome how great it looks just take a look at it Yeah, it's very beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'm just showing you these pictures. <clears throat> here on the right side, you can see this, these are these both two tracks here. On the right side, that one has these supports. You can see there are many supports placed in quite uh, short distances because it has to hold this way and what is more sea container transportation system is one of the transportation systems which will be demonstrated there but the other one uh, will be for passengers and uh, <clears throat> to take more than more than three uh, sorry more than 100 passengers on board those models will be tested there as well so it's meant for heavier ways so to say and on the left side you can see that those supports are for example if if uh, i think five five supports uh, is uh, well it has less it has five supports less uh, on the same distance that the right side has so that that means that it will be, it will, it is meant for, uh, for much lighter transportation systems. For example, like Unicar or Unibus or, or the lighter uh, sea container, which is uh, half of the size of the main sea container. So about 20 foot long. Yes, so the container depot has the works with the, that has been done. Of course, there are some works with facade and uh, and then with outlooks and interior. So the last uh, missing pieces are at the moment uh, in the process of well, in the process of complete completion. So it won't take much more time, some months, I think maybe half a year, and then we should see both of those tracks fully in, in, uh, in well, running, full running. Yes, and you can see, um, it was, I believe it was in November or in the beginning of December when they, I'm sorry, I think it was November, in the beginning of October or November, when they started uh, the certification of Ford test track. And now here you can see the, the first steps of that certification process are completed. So we have the certification of intermediate support now for the Ford test track. So that's a great sign. So now you can see first we dig the land. We, we do all the calculations, projects. When we have nothing, then we start digging, we start placing the supports, then we have to uh, start certification processes, we have to install 
yeah, install the track structures or, or the strings, the pre-stressed uh, string, strings. And then during all that process, the certification process constantly goes on and on. So that's why it's, it's quite, quite great that we have achieved that first big step of the new track structure. All right. Now, now we will continue with, uh, with, with our next part. And, boy, sorry, went too far. I'm sorry. Yeah, here you can see this is the motor wheel. This is the derailment system. But yeah, now, now it's coming. I'm very sorry. Now, the seven reasons why Skyway is here to stay, why it will rock the world, and then um, what is so revolutionary about this technology that we are talking about it here. And what is the, of course, what is the reason or why so many people want to hear about this and, and tell different people about the technology is because we all have the possibility today to become an investor as well, to give funds to the company and receive uh, the main company's shares, so that the shares of the technology, so we will be part of this technology. So wherever in the world, Skyway will be built. Uh, the profits will be divided and then uh, will be divided not all the profits but a certain amount of profits profits i believe it was 20 percent will be divided between all the investors shareholders uh, depending of course how many shares person has so that's amazing news we just have to bear in mind that it all takes time it takes a lot of time as you can see we at the moment we have two them different demonstration certification centers in Belarus. We have the first one, that one, is, that one has uh, more than seven different track structures, which are certified as well already by Russian and Belarus, Russian standards. They are called costs. So by those standards, those uh, certification processes have been done, made and constantly renewed because, um, well, there are, uh, well, they're improving constantly in both countries this technology and the second uh, second transportation well demonstration and certification center which is called innovation center is located in united arab emirates in sacha about half half uh, an hour drive from from uh, from sacha uh, sorry from dubai yes so it's next to dubai basically Yes, so why Skyway? First of all, it is innovative. It's 21st century technology. Nobody has put them together uh, these different parts uh, or particles or, or technological aspects or materials in such a way that you see at the moment in front of your eyes when you look at the, look at the, um, Mm, when you look at the screen uh, or the slide at the moment, this this is just brilliant. Of course, this animation, but the same thing in in the same in the same way is at the moment is located as well at the moment uh, in Sacha. This is the four hundred meter track structure support. Awesome, yeah, that one I already showed you. This one is made in Belarus. This is the real picture. And I have myself also try, uh, got the chance to drive with it. It's very smooth. It's quiet. It has all these luxurious screens, seats, uh, air conditioning, everything basically it has. And it's it's just the, the sound of electricity when when the cars or or the well Skyway models as well start moving. That's just so amazing. It's it's so smooth. It's it's like uh, like a wind, like a breeze of wind. But yeah, now let's take a look at the 
what we have inside the uh, track structure. What does it consist? Uh, it basically is a metal frame which uh, has, well, in, well, inside of it, there, there are a bunch of pre-stressed strings. And it works basically like a bridge. Uh, if you think about a bridge, then it has also these pre-stressed strings. And that's why we do not need supports to be placed after, for example, after every 50 meters, at least with this model here behind me. And then the, the supports can be even after every few kilometers, which is very, very long distance. If you think about the secondary string transportation system, because a lot of people think about, oh, but then there will be so many supports, they're ugly and then, uh, but no. And those supports can be designed as well. Like we wish, like like the city councillors wish or the city designers or architects want to, want to picture it, like you saw before. The, the the beautiful with the with the strings and then the support in in Sacha. So it's very flexible. But yes, pre-stressed strings in, in these punches. Then we can even take tubes, plastic or well whatever material is the best and suitable for the environment. We can take those through the track structure and we can for example uh, widen the reach of electricity or uh, fast internet or other communications. Mm, so basically we can take those communications and then cables through the track structure and give it to the surrounding areas. For example, in Africa, where there is, where there are a lot of areas where there's still no electricity is possible or, or it's very, on uh, well not reliable and um, therefore we can share this electricity for example what we produce as well because we most definitely will use solar panels wind turbines in the future to produce our own electricity as well because we run on electricity so we need this energy and then the, the more reliable we can be on our, our own uh, infrastructure, the best, the better it is. And then therefore the future is, is quite great. So yes, now this slide, uh, I made this picture uh, some years ago when I got the chance to visit Minsk, actually about an hour drive from Minsk, Marina Korka, where our Ecotechno Park, which is our first certification demonstration center, is located. So once a year, once a year that event took place and was meant for for investors. That's just the one brief day or one long day. For example, we can yes, we will go there early in the morning, leave quite late because it's so big. The area there are all these plants and. Uh, greenery and uh, all these th different track structures. Last time there was, I think, four or five track structures. And on each of those models were driving. Some of those were not certified yet. So people couldn't drive with all of those models, but with unicars, the unibuses, the same model, what you see on the, on the slide at the moment, I got the chance to drive it as well. So again, I can say it's, it's really, really great. It was about 12 meters above the ground. So it was, totally enough. It's just so brilliant. You can see above the uh, above the houses and then the people and the forest even or, or the trees. It's just amazing. Yes. And the second point is ecological, has pictures, pictures is more than a thousand words. It just suits very well to the surrounding. It doesn't look harmful to the eye, at least comparing with uh, most or all of those other technologies, which are, uh, which are, well, invented. So yeah, ecological is very different. And then, and then of course, the CO2 levels, which uh, we know that governments go to toward the, toward the idea of 
electricity and electrifying everything and, and everybody. So we won't see these fossil fuel cars in the future. Well, I believe it will be 10, 20 years about, at least in here in Europe, but in Africa and there, of course, it takes much more time, but yes. All right, here, these guys are called pushers. And I just want to show you with this slide that uh, what, what's the situation in the world, for example, in Japan, these pushers are hired by the government to push the last people on board. So they would <laughs> fill 110% the trains or subways and then the other models or the other um, metro can come or subway in about five to 10 minutes, pick up uh, next people and, and that's how it goes. But with Skyway, it's possible to, well, start, it's possible to start after each 30 seconds. So one model starts, then after, after each 30 seconds, another model starts from the station. And uh, well, it all depends the timing. It depends how fast people can get on board and off the board. So therefore, it will enchant the enchant the volume of of people that that can travel in in a specific time. For example, per hour, it will be much higher the number with sky within with even with subways. So that's again something to think about. But all right, guys, with this um, great great uh, picture, we will finish our today's presentation. And here it is, the Dalai Lama with Dr. Anatoly Onitsky. He also gave his blessings to Dr. Anatoly Onitsky, who is the creator of this technology and said that it won't be an easy path for you, but eventually you will succeed and the world really needs your technology. So he gave his, well, blessings and said, everything will eventually turn out fine. And we have seen it. It hasn't been an easy path. Uh, there have been, has been a lot of obstacles, obstacles and, and so on, but uh, here we are today. We have two demonstration certification uh, centers. We have contracts and, and we are constantly developing our technology. So these are all great news. So why not invest? Of course, if you have more questions, just go to your back office. If you do not have back office yet, just the people, you can ask uh, the people who, well, recommended to watch this video, for example, or recommended to, to see more information about this technology, ask him to help you or her to help you and uh, do the uh, verification process in the back offices. Uh, and then you can start looking all those documents, make an investment if you wish, and then get the latest news and so on. But uh, we will see you again in uh, three weeks. 26th of January, the same time. So stay tuned, stay happy, stay healthy, and make great choices and share. And let's share this information. And yes, just be happy and goodbye, everybody.